Aloha, welcome to Cosmic Mystic. Welcome to my channel. I'm Yasmina. You're welcome here. All the information that you need can be found in the description box below. Today we're going to be looking at the astrology for the week of March 28th, 29th, going into April 3rd, April 4th, give or take a day. So I'm looking at the same screen that you're looking at. You may see my mouse move or the screen move from time to time, but I would have to say that it's a very capable week for you, especially if you are focused. I feel that you're going to be the most effective when you are focused. It's going to be a week also where you have a wonderful opportunity or at least lots of opportunities to um, go back and re-evaluate anything that may need to be adjusted or if you need an opportunity to maybe tie up some loose ends or come to some conclusions in some important areas of your life, you have a lot of planetary support for that at this time. There could be a lot of detailed work for you this week. That could be very time consuming. A lot of you are gonna really dislike that because there could be a lot of, um, there could be a lot of opportunities for fun or diversion in some capacity, but because you are such an important detail in people's plans or whatever you have pre-planned already, it required so much detail to get that done. Many of you are going to have to forego these opportunities for excitement because you have more serious business to handle this week. There's a lot of important appointments, a lot of important things going on. So there's going to be this tug of war and the energy where you have to be very disciplined. Is it high priority for you to focus on what's important or is it high priority for you to go and have fun? And you're going to have a lot of um, conflicting energies that cause you to have to deal with that. Um, you're definitely going to have a lot of energy that's going to help you successfully tackle any issues. So if there's an important conversation that needs to be had this week, I personally would wait just because of what's going on with transiting Mercury, transiting Neptune. I feel like, especially with all this Piscean energy, and now we've ingressed into Aries, and then we've just come out of this Libra full moon, I just feel like you could be um, meeting a lot of crazy people. Or you could be having a lot of communication with people who are not sane. You could be attracting more Neptunian ruled people than usual or people who are expressing a very um, shadow side, a, a shadow side of the Piscean energy. So I would say if you're going out at night, if you're going out on excursions where there's going to be substances or alcohol involved this week, be very careful. You need to know where the exit is and the surroundings. You need to have a plan for if you run into a psychopath, how are you going to handle that situation? Because with this type of energy, people who are already unwell, especially those who are not willing to acknowledge that they're unwell, they're going to be heavily triggered by these energies this week, so much so that um, people are going to be going through various forms of psychosis. Um, people who have issues with substances could go through various forms of blackouts. And once they go through that, you know, they may not always be able to hold themselves accountable for their behavior. So what you um, subject others to, in addition to what you allow yourself to be subjected to, there's a lot of power in those types of decisions that you have this week. Because you can choose to say no, you can set boundaries, you can walk away. You can go out and have a good time and not allow yourself to be so consumed in that energy that you lose yourself, you know? Keep your, your wits about you. It's very important at this time. Uh, if any of you are doing anything that has to do with commitments, relationships, securing that, or... Um, Taking it to the next level, initiating that, whatever's going on with you, if you are in a committed romantic relationship, you could really bring a lot of long lasting stability into that relationship this week. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you are um, planning weddings at this time or getting engaged at this time, moving in together, meeting the loves of your lives. It's a lot of promotional energy for that as well. However, the only thing about this is you're going to have a lot of responsibilities. So you're going to have to really set a schedule. You need to be focused and disciplined in keeping to that schedule too. But it would be great if you could make some extra room for yourself, you know, 
for maybe being a bit flexible in plans, maybe for something unexpected to come about. And you want to be able to be available for that because this is a week where all work and no play is going to lead to imbalance. All play and no work is going to lead to imbalance. So it's a wonderful week where you can learn to, to balance both. But uh, if you are disciplined and focused and you are really taking responsibility for your attitude, for your happiness, you're not looking for that outside of yourself, this is going to be a week that's really going to increase your confidence in yourself. It's really going to help you to prepare for what's coming next. Your self-discipline is what brings you success at this time. So a self-discipline, I would say a patient approach, viewing things from a perspective of what's good for business rather than taking things personally is really going to help this week as well. Because there could be some conversations, especially with people who are... Um, being heavily affected in their natal charts by the transiting Neptune energies or the transiting Mercury energies where, you know, um, they may not be aware of how nasty or toxic their energy is. They may not be aware of how they are projecting. So all that, you know, everything that I've said helps you to deal with such people. You don't have to deal with such people. Take it from your fellow Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. No is a complete sentence. You do not have to reply. You do not have to give them a reason for cutting them off. Okay? You don't. You can just say, block, delete. <laughs> is that easy? Is that easy? Moving on. Also, um, conversations are going to be really important this week because conversations are going to be very effective at problem solving. But it's going to come about in ways that, it, that are, are unexpected. So you could have people who have been um, viewing something since its inception, since its foundation, and they've watched it grow. Either now they want to collaborate and be a part of it because some people have gotten to certain levels. So now you have all of these collaborations coming in. And others of you are going to be having very influential people coming in to problem solve for you in some type of way. Regardless of how this manifests in your life, it's going to be a stabilizing of your energy at this time. I feel that what the universe is really trying to teach a lot of us is um, there's no point in trying to continue to ascend in terms of mastering yourself in the matrix, in terms of mastering yourself spiritually in all facets of who you are. There's no point in continuing to ascend in that if you haven't first mastered grounding. So there's a lot of energy going into the 13th chakra at this time. You know, the, the star point that anchors you into the earth. If you are constantly rising, constantly working the upper chakra, so everything from the heart chakra up, you may not be mastering or even focusing on grounding yourself. I speak to so many readers and I speak to so many spiritualists and many of you are called, if not 99.9% .9 of you, are called to do great works in your own way in order to help the collective. You cannot give from an empty cup and the only way to keep your cup uh, full is to master grounding energy and to also master patience. So many of you are focused very much so on your spiritual modalities and you're not so much focused on your foundations. And this can be a wonderful week that can really help you to stabilize yourself, to ground yourself more, you know, to create more of a nest egg for yourself, more security for yourself going forward. It's all really important and you have to know that as we are leaving March and entering into April, the universe, the collective, it's really preparing us for future growth, for massive expansion. And a lot of that has um, a lot to do with transiting Jupiter and how that's going to be working in the months to come as well. So... You know, it's just going to be a week where fulfilling commitments is necessary, but there's also going to be lots of good time spent with family and friends. And I don't know why, but I just feel like I should tell a lot of you congratulations. So, congratulations. The last thing that I'll say is, um, especially as we get towards the end of the week, let's say going from April 2nd, going, going forward, you're going to find that communications become more intense. It's going to become more passionate. So just be aware of that. 
you can res you can respond by reacting or you can respond by doing nothing there's power in that and the choice is yours reactionary energy will get you nowhere because if you react in very passionate or heated conversations you are most likely going to be uh, having this disagreement with a very formidable opponent. So you would be disagreeing or having a very passionate confrontation with someone who would feel just as adamant about what they believe in as you feel about what you believe in. So they're not going to convince you and you're not going to convince them. Is it even worth your energy, dear viewer? Something to think about. I also feel like this is a wonderful time for you if you want to begin counseling of any variety. I also feel like this is a wonderful time for any type of investigation or research or anything that has to do with the pursuit of mercurial qualities, okay? So mercurial would be like broadcasting, communication, genius, things like that, um, engineering, invention, etc. So I wish you a wonderful week ahead and I'll see you in the next video. If you would like any additional information, check out my website at cosmicmystic.co. Lots of love to you. I wish you all the best. Ashe.